Hello and welcome to Efficient Manufacturing Magazine. This is Neha Basutkar, Joint Editor at Efficient Manufacturing. We have here with us Mr. Arun, Arunab Mujumdar, who is the Managing Director of PBM Orchestics India. Let's welcome him. Uh, would you like to say something about yourself and the company, sir? Hello and good morning. Yeah, uh, myself Arunab Majumdar. Uh, so I am a Managing Director for BBM Acoustic India Private Limited. We established this organization in India in the year 2005. And then we shifted to our plant location where you are sitting now in Pirangut in 2007. And after that, we have expanded it five times because of the good business uh, opportunities which we got. And right now we are 100% subsidiary of Muller BBM Acoustic Technology, which is located in Munich, Germany. So we are working under them and hands in hand for all the project related inquiries and supplies as well as the design engineering also. Okay, Thank that was you. really great. That was really great. So let's begin with the interview. Uh, so what factors have attracted uh, German companies to invest in India and how uh, and how have these investments benefited both the countries? Yeah, so this is a very good question actually from your side uh, and you. the answer for this would be my this uh, German countries, you know, have become expensive more and more after the liberalization in Germany when they have united. So the labor uh, consent in there, uh, the labor part has gone up very high. So they were looking for a investment which can be safe investment and can be outside Germany for the development of the similar kind of product which they can do. So they have opted India as a option because in India, the stability, the government stability is much more and the number of foreign investment done by German companies are also very high. So they feel very stable when they come to India and availability of the technical skills and the manpower, especially in our Pune area. So it attracts them that we can do the similar kind of job at similar quality and the delivery lines. So that, that makes them very comfortable, uh, you know, while uh, choosing a place where they should be. And that is the reason that uh, the German companies are attracted towards India much more uh, in a good way. Yeah, that is absolutely true. Uh, local uh, manufacturers or local uh, localites have actually exactly. is actually building up the economy much more higher, and that's why the foreign uh, companies are actually attracted to, to towards India to actually make similar products. Yes, and also because of the globalization, you know what is happening is that they are looking for a BCC country, which is called as base cost countries. Yes. Now in base cost country, India becomes one of the China is there, yes. but China has become now a little bit isolated. So that is why they are coming to India being a good energetic manpower is available. Youth is there. So that helps them to get the product what they want yes. in a similar fashion. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, let's move on to the second question, sir. Um, so, how have German companies collaborated with Indian counterparts and uh, to enhance the skill and knowledge uh, knowledge transfer? Yeah. So, you know, we are in a very niche field of acoustics, and acoustics is very rare in India. Yeah. So, in Germany, in one of our office, there are 550 acoustical engineers sitting. But in India, you will find two or three acoustical engineers. So it is a difficult field. So training and, uh, you know, imparting a right kind of knowledge transfer is very important for our kind of industry. Hmm. So this is a regular program we have that we normally send our people to Germany. Right now, also two of our engineers are sitting in Germany doing Indian project so that they get enhanced with the technological skills hands what on they experience have. They hands actually on get. experience then live experience going to the plant seeing what is happening so those things helps to transfer the technology in a right way in a right way yeah. and apart from that also our german colleagues next week some people are coming so they also come and check the quality levels improve our things 
then they take the training sessions mm -hmm. and how to train people, how to impart the technological transfer. So that is keep on going. It's yeah, an ongoing important. process. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's an ongoing process. Unless and until you don't give the quality product, it will be very difficult to survive. So that is why to know the exact, uh, their expectation levels, you should have also a right kind of skills. Exactly, exactly. And we are also working in the same skill levels, like they are working in the IT platform or the softwares which they are working. So we are working on the same platform. So but that makes over it easy. there the technology and the experience and the hands-on uh, or the man-to-man uh, -man training is totally different when there is a gap between two countries. So exactly. if a person is sitting over here and and the person sitting over there matters a lot. Yes. Therefore, the And thanks uh, the to right COVID that said. after that, this Teams meeting has become yes. very popular. <laughs> so th that has really enhanced yes. the overall uh, communication, yes. which was a very, it has become like India, Germany is like... Uh, <laughs> the next level uh, you know country what we are having so even myself i am traveling in, on this uh, friday to germany so there is a uh, project relationship uh, you know is there a project uh, meetings are there so that is very helpful for us absolutely uh, so let's move on to the third question mm -hmm. um, can you discuss any initiatives or programs that german companies have undertaken to support uh, the local communities over here uh, to contribute towards the sustainable developments in india yeah so uh, the in this question i would like to also answer you that it is german company is always always supporting this uh, you know good uh, the sustainable, sustainability, uh, sustainability practices but apart from that we are also taking a csr activities absolutely so they are always asking us that what kind of csr you are doing uh, over the years so for example uh, we have uh, employed the people from the local village Mm -hmm. And this, these people are getting the economical growth after mm -hmm. this employment. Mm -hmm. Then we go to the schools, needy schools, and where they need, some people need uh, computer, some people need desk or infrastructure. So we support that. Then post-COVID, we have supported in some of the, uh, you know, camps, which was a COVID camps for medicines and hospitals, such kind of thing. And it is a regular affair. We are also, uh, you know, participating in the enhancement of a emerging players. Okay. The, the players coming from same village and nearby area who don't have funds to really go to a national levels, but they are good people or they they are very skilled. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, one mm -hmm. uh, you, uh, your pistol gun uh, mm -hmm. lady is there. So she is a, uh, she is needing the funds and the arms and the pistol for the training purpose. So we have helped her to get those things, her uniform, her practice session. So that has helped as a CSR as well as a sustainable growth to the community. Yes, absolutely. Sustainability yeah. and along with it, associated with it, the communal growth is actually exactly. a good mix to uh, we have in an industry at the, we can grow at the official level yes. but at the same time if the supported Support is, areas yeah. are not grown or they are not getting benefit of having an industry here i would say that that is a not one handed affair absolutely absolutely so the communal growth to, is absolutely anyways uh, appreciable yeah. along with the sustainable that every each and every industry is looking forward but of course, community growth is also uh, a kind of an added Correct. advantage to the sustainable development that the companies and are looking at. Apart from that, being uh, we in an industry, so we have also helped in the growth of certain participating industry, mm -hmm. so which are linked to us. Mm -hmm. So we have gone to their plant, we have improved them, improved their quality, quality. so that they can uh, supply to us. So this has like, a, it, it works like a chain. Mm -hmm. So they have also grown and because of our requirement and our stringent quality requirement. So we have grown with them, means we have helped them to come up with the new machineries, to come up Absolutely. with the quality requirements mm -hmm. and then they can supply us. So this is a complete supply chain which has grown like this. So if we grow, they will also grow. Absolutely. So Absolutely. Is that is necessary. Yeah. 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 
so that leads us to the uh, fourth question uh, how do german companies uh, navigate the cultural and business differences between germany and india uh, while operating in indian market how is yeah. bbc yeah. Uh, bbm uh, acoustics looking at it this is a, actually in the starting it was a much challenging affair because you know the german people are very punctual they are very yeah. uh, with on the dot uh, people uh, mm -hmm. and very speaking loudly and straightforward and that was in the initial phase it was a problem with them to understand indian culture yes so in india the things are little bit in a more stable way more relaxed way which they are little bit you know uh, they are not used to it used to it yeah but then slowly slowly they found that india is a good place to work because uh, as i told you earlier also the technical skills are available and then it has helped us to adopt their culture also so what is the good in their culture for example they are very prompt they are very respective they are knowledgeable so you can gain those things to your organization and develop intra departmental development is required absolutely so for example in our we are into the manufacturing facility so in manufacturing the quality is important so we have to adopt that cultural quality what they have in their yes. products so accordingly we have tried to transpire the whole thing to in our plant also so that we are at the same cultural level as far as the products are concerned exactly now if we talk about the cultural differences of the two countries i would say even before angela merkel merkel was there and now also the uh, new prime minister is there and with our prime minister mr modi being very you know uh, friendly with germany so one of our the third fdis which is coming over the world is from germany yes so that is why the german culture is definitely supporting us in developing ourselves also and in turn we are supporting them by supplying the goods and services from india yes absolutely so the intra departmental cultural practices should exactly. be the core of any organization because that helps the technology and the product to leverage itself for the indian market absolutely, uh, right. absolutely right. all together yeah yeah so uh, looking ahead uh, what future perspectives uh, you are you know adding value to bbm acoustics uh, particularly in the context of uh, emerging technologies and uh, you know machineries yeah uh, digitalization and everything so looking into our past experience of 18 years in india now we have in this plant we are we have gone to the extent of uh, completion of the plant area so we don't have but at the same time we are uh, approached by our customer to expand more yes so now looking into the success story of this plant so we have been now we approached bbm germany that we want to have another expansion plant great so nearby to this area only 3 kilometers away we we are building our new plant okay. and which is of the similar kind of capacity and uh, that is the reason why i am also going to germany so we will have a board meeting and clarify that whole thing and uh, this plant will be ready by 2025 mm -hmm. so the plot is already selected and the building etc has to come so this shows the kind of uh, you know uh, they are relying on us and they are also uh, confirming that yes the need is there to expand in india so they are not expanding in germany because in germany it is impossible to expand with the high cost of labor etc exactly so they want to expand in their other countries for example we are in mexico us and india so they are investing most of the investment in india mm -hmm. because they have understood that india is a place where really the technical advancement can be done products at low be, cost at low, low cost, labor cost at low cost high quality yes and they will be also in the market with that support so that they can you know uh, support globally exactly. their customers exactly earlier we were having challenges that many of the european customers were not accepting 
the material supplied from India. Okay. But now, now it is not the scenario. Okay. Now, now the scenario is different. Our cars are being exported to Europe. Our cars are going to all over world. Mm -hmm. So these are the advancement which India has done and proven to the world exactly. that we can also supply anything what you want. Exactly. exactly. So your Apple Watch is going all over the world, mm. which is made in India. Yeah. So that is how it is now becoming a very easy platform to have a interchangeability mm -hmm. of the uh, units what we can have here and we can support them absolutely absolutely would you like to add something more sir about the company about the indo-german relationships and about the quality of the product that you just mentioned that you know uh, yeah. having a local uh, having local people over here at low at low label labor cost and having the technological advancements having a hands-on experience with the uh, german company uh, altogether yeah. so how is the you know product uh, shaping up uh, for, for your future uh, advancements of the company itself yeah so acoustics is a very important field and uh, you know barely 20 25 years ago in india there was no importance of acoustics as far as concerned but now being associated with this Muller BBM acoustics. So Muller BBM is a 62 years old company in the field of acoustics and they do all kind of acoustical consultancy, whether it is related to railways, whether it is related to Navy, whether it is related to environmental or industrial acoustics. So we being associated with such a big company, it becomes inherent property or kind of a thing that uh, technological advancement we can give it to the Indian companies mm -hmm. so for example earlier in India they were going abroad for these kind of product mm -hmm. so now BBM is available in India exactly. so they are buying from India so that is helping us to have also made in India initiative, initiative. for yeah. example in Navy earlier we are, we are supplying to Indian Navy for mm -hmm. many of the projects so there they were buying the acoustical enclosures from Germany, France, mm -hmm. in different places. Mm -hmm. But now they are supplying, getting it from us. That to an, at a higher cost from Germany and every uh, and yeah, order it is of much the world. More and now over here at low. And the availability it is locally here available. Is, is a deliverable. And uh, similarly, we have developed a uh, replacement of a uh, ship side exhaust system. Mm -hmm. So ship side exhaust system was earlier bought from Canada or somewhere. But now they are buying it from us. Mm -hmm. The reason being that, first of all, this Mr. Modi's initiative of making India. So that is there. Second is that the availability they are getting at the same quality level of the, I am talking of the design quality. So the design is done by Germany, execution is done by India and they are getting the product. So exactly. everybody is getting facilitated by such kind of collaborative approach so that, you know, at the end, the country is getting benefited. Exactly. So we are not importing our GDP import contracts. Will obviously grow yeah. up. So that will be our uh, growth will be there. Mm -hmm. And this will help more, I think. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So that was a very good interview, sir. I would actually like to uh, thank you for giving us the time to My come pleasure. and interview you. Uh, so that was Mr. Aruna Mujumdar. He actually stressed more on the collaboration between indo and german com uh, indo and german companies making a uh, collaborative approach of uh, local and technological advancements along with the sustainable practices developing in the country having india hitting the highest gdp with all these collaborations so i would actually like to thank you mr aruna mujumdar and it was a great uh, interview with you thank you Nea. thank you thank Thanks. you very thank, much thank you a lot okay